K World Series 2021 in Tallinn. Up next, our second semifinal, uh, followed by Varats and Remmer. The final fight of the tournament, and then the interim welterweight championship fight at the end of the evening. All right, folks, here we go. The winner of this one will face Astrid Johanna Grenz in the finals later tonight as we take a look at the tail of the tape. Things slightly in favor on all counts in favor of the Italian. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK World Series in Tallinn, Estonia. We are live. Second Grand Prix semifinal fight. Blue corner from Italy. Ludovica Cerpaglini. Time to knock him out. Well, one important point that uh, Ludovica Cerpaglini made in her pre fight interview was the fact that, hey, win or lose, I'm out here to put on a show and everybody's going to remember my name. Good grief, I can't even remember my name right now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was certainly the case the last time that the Italian stepped foot inside of a KOK ring, because even though she did lose to Barbara Nalepka in Warsaw, Poland uh, earlier this year, she put on a heck of a show, and uh, evidently the matchmakers here in King of Kings remembered her. And uh, she, she made an impact during that fight. She showed what she can do, and she showed that she deserves to be in this tournament and deserves a chance to fight to become the first ever KOK women's bantamweight champion. This is, uh, as she has said, the biggest moment of her career, and she is here for one reason and one reason only, and that is for the title. Very humble about it, but that's what she means. Very exciting fighter to watch. She's got long arms, long legs, and uh, she is the oldest fighter in the tournament. I, I, she's only 25, but <laughs> still the oldest fighter. Has a great record of nine and five, and uh, always leaves everything inside the ring. Ludovica Cerpaglini, Italy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, red corner from Poland, Ilona Wojda. Ilona Voida has acquired victories here in King of Kings in both her native country of Poland and also in Latvia. It is looking to add not only Estonia to the list of countries 
where she's had her hand raised, but also come out of this tournament with the championship belt. Now, this is interesting. Normally, uh, she is she has a lot of uh, has a very positive attitude, a lot of smiling going on. Not not any smiling right now. She is all business here for this fight. Ilona Voida, Poland. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner. 25 years old, official height 173 centimeter, official weight 60 kilogram, professional record nine wins, five losses. K1 Italian Pro Champion, Rua 67 Academy, Italy, Ludovica Cerpaglini. <laughs> fighting out of the red corner. 22 years old, official height 169 centimeter, official weight 61 kilogram, professional record four wins, two losses, Polish Muay Thai champion, European K1 champion, representing Garuda Muay Thai Gym, Poland, Ilona Voida. <laughs> Eric Referee Konstantin Yermolov, KOK rules, three rounds, three minutes each. The winner of this fight will take a part in Grand Prix final match. And here we go, round one underway. The winner obviously moves on to the finals and faces Astrid Johanna Grenz. Oh boy, these two tearing right into each other here. Wait a minute. That kick landed between the legs there of Voida and certainly not the way she envisioned round number one starting. Keep in mind the ladies don't wear any protection down there. Ooh, right hand there by Voida. But it looks like the Italian is really the one putting the pressure on here. Body kick lands. Well, this is a different kind of a fight here. Uh, than we saw in the first semifinal. These two holding nothing back in round one. Ooh, and she got popped that time. Garpaglini popped her with a left hand right on the chin. Voida, from what I've seen of her, is uh, a little bit of a slow starter. Well, she is not starting slow here tonight. It's always interesting to see what kind of a, oh boy, those are strong kicks going in there from the Italian. Very strong. It's interesting to see what kind of a strategy a fighter has coming into a tournament situation. Voida looks like she's in trouble. Looks like the strategy of the Italian is just to go, go, go. Full speed ahead. Other fighters like to pace themselves, knowing that they have the potential of six rounds of kickboxing. But if you can get in there and get the job done quick inside of a round, you'll have a lot more time to, to rest than you would if you'd go the full three rounds. Red corner calling for the fighter to get busier in there, to close the distance and do some damage. Now she's obeying. Nice right hand over the top, follows it up with the left kick. Kick by Voida. Time running out here in round one. 
Ooh, that may have been a low shot as well. End of round one. Let's go back and take a look at some action in round one. I think that Chiara Paglini took round one. She was more aggressive. She was landing more shots overall. And, uh, you know, the cumulative damage, as they say, uh, coming into effect there. Of course, in KOK scoring criteria, no knockdowns, no real spectacular shots landed. I mean, there were no turning back kicks. There were no back fists, uh, you know, jumping knees, anything of that nature. And so you look at the cumulative damage. You look at the amount of normal strikes that landed. You look at the, you know, the who is the ring general in there. I think all of those criteria fit the Italian in round one. Wait. Second round. But we turn the page in this chapter of the fight and we move to round number two. Oh, and Voida looks reinvigorated here, but she got blasted once again. Holy cow, a big kick upstairs that time from Chiara Paglini. Ooh, nice shot downstairs that time by the Italian. It just seems like Chiara Paglini can see what's gonna happen, like, like she's almost two steps ahead. I think she's a little bit too quick for Voida. There's a good body kick there. Eats a knee though. And the red corner constantly calling for their fighter to get closer, get closer, close the distance, do some damage. But when she does, she's getting picked off by the Italian. Nice combination there, but Voida did work her way inside. Inside of a minute now in round number two. A little bit slower paced than there was in round number one, but I think that it's because the Italian is waiting on Voida to make a move. And whenever she comes in the striking distance, she's picking her off. And if Voida does not close the distance, then we've got ourselves a little bit of a break in the action. Push kicks are landing now. She's using long range weapons. That may not be a bad technique there. Those long range kicks from Voida are working. She's changed up her strategy a little bit. So instead of coming in with her hands now, she's working uh, from a distance with her legs. And that time she caught her when she went back upstairs to the hands. Great job by Voida to make an adjustment there. And she is, that was a, 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 a good ending to the round there, the last, 40, 50 seconds from Voida were very successful, but in the meantime, another good round from the Italian. Let's go back and take another look here. I think that the Italian had a good strategy in rounds one and two, where she's just waiting on Voida to come in. Voida is a little bit slower than she is, and so she was able to exploit that and pick her off with quick kicks and punches on the way in. But Voida seems to have figured out a chink in the armor somehow and was using those long range push kicks and body kicks to score points towards the end of the round. Wait! 
final round. And here we go, round three. This one will decide who moves on to the finals to fight for the very first ever Women's Bantamweight Championship here in KOK. Strong head kick upstairs, though, blocked by the pole. A left hand got through from Voida and another left hand. Oh, boy. Oh, these two are opening up now. Here we go. And now when these two are in close range, they're really opening up here. I think the mistake that Voida made in the first two rounds was not listening to her coach's advice and not being more aggressive. She needs to be quicker and more aggressive to win this thing. She wants to play that game and go tit for tat on the outside with the, with the push kicks and the, and the body kicks and the low kicks. She can do that. Uh, but things may be more interesting for us if she closes the distance uh, and makes this thing a slugfest. And hey, at the end of the day, you know, you don't want to have any regrets, right? I mean, you don't want to be kicking yourself because you didn't give it all you got. And again, she's getting picked off as she comes inside. Another low kick connects there from the Italian. Whoa! Crowd responding to that. Voida, though, getting some work done now. This is the kind of fight that I want to see. With these two really going at it. Good hands there from the Italian. Body kick lands. Inside 30 seconds now in the third and final round. Cracking low kick that time from Chiar Paglini. These two mixing it up here. Closing seconds now. Wow, solid ending to that fight. These two hugging it out here. A lot of mutual respect being shown in this historic women's bout. Our second semifinal of the evening, but only one woman can advance to the finals. Who's it gonna be? Go back and take a look at number three. Round three was probably the most action-packed round. The most action we got was right at the beginning of the fight and then right at the end of the fight. And in the middle, it was more of like Chiar Paglini kind of controlling from a distance, waiting for Voida to come in. Voida not coming in quickly enough and getting picked off from the outside. However, the judges are now rendering their decision and we will find out who will advance to the finals to fight Astrid Johanna Grenz for the championship. Body language speaking volumes here. Just looking at these two ladies. I think that Chiara Paglini a lot more confident about her chances to advance. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK World Series in Tallinn, Estonia. We are live. Grand Prix semi-final fight. And after, after three rounds, I will announce decision of each judges. Judge one, Ludovica Cerpaglini. Judge two, Ilona Boida. Judge three, 
Ludovica Cerpaglini. The winner is Ludovica Cerpaglini, Italy. Well, one of the judges saw in favor of Voida. Ludovica in a final fight. Nevertheless, Chiar Paglini is victorious here. And we now know our finals for the Bantamweight Championship. Ludovica Chiar Paglini against Astrid Johanna Grenz coming up right after the next fight, ladies and gentlemen. But before we get to the finals, we move to 73 kilos, Dimitri Varets and Ott Remmer coming up next.